Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right. This is my second attempt at a mukbang video today. The first one was supposed to be the uh, pork butt steak over out at the compound after I had just put it out on the barbecue, but I was invaded under assault by a gazillion love bugs, which are still all over me. They're all over the van right now. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna do a quick perusal here. And you can see they are all over the windshield. They are everywhere. And as soon as I open the door, they try to come in. Luckily, the van now has working air conditioning, so I can sit here and chill a little bit, even though it's probably not that good to be running the vehicle, just sitting here with the AC on. Um, kind of burning gas, and also, it's probably not too good for it, but I'm going to do it anyways for this episode. I do have some um, pork butt steak fried rice with uh, jalapeno peppers, yeah. And also, for garnish, I have some cucumber and some onion. So we're going to be eating that today, and even though I was supposed to wean myself off soda, I am going to have a soda today. I'm going to have Coke, because I'm stressed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, some good stuff. All right. All right, before we get started, I want to do a quick shout out, Swati Cup to Kosao and Quang Yan. <laughs> I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me and letting me know that you enjoy eating with me. So it makes it more of a pleasure when I do these shows, you know, because then I realize people are actually sitting down and maybe having dinner with me. So it's kind of like having a friend and having dinner with them. So that's what we're going to treat it like. But um, I want to thank you all for joining me and we're going to go ahead and begin with this is actually our second bite because I did a, a quick taste test at the end of the cooking portion. But this was really good. We do have uh, our first bite will be the rice, the spinach, some um, onion, and the pork. And of course, we're going to take a little piece of pepper just to give it a zing. And here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. The jalapeno has more kick to it than the um, serrano pepper. I can definitely feel the burn. I think I'm going to follow it up with a bite of um, some onion. Some people don't really like eating onion raw, but I do. When you fry onion, when you cook up onion, it becomes kind of soft and sweet. But if you eat it raw, it's crunchy and spicy, which is what I like. So I can eat it both ways. There's some cooked onion in here, which is soft and sweet, but there's also the raw one right here, which I'm gonna have right now. This is just so good. Raw onion with the pepper, the rice, and a piece of the meat. Try to scoop it all up here. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting the food. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This is some good eating. Mm -hmm. Look at that. When the food looks good like this, it makes it taste better too, you know, because a lot of our, I think a lot of what we perceive as taste is how things smell, how they look. So the better we can make something look when we're serving it, the more taste it becomes. That pepper is hot. And I think um, soda makes it even hotter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sweat. I am really sweating. That pepper is really hot. That, um, I guess it's jalapenos. Mm. It's definitely hotter than the Serrano. I can taste the burn right now. I am burning. 
and I don't have anything other than the soda here to, to try to appease the taste. I don't even have any chips or anything. So I'm going to be burning. <laughs> Might have to run over to the Dollar Tree and buy some chocolate or something. Because I'm sweating. Mm. Let's follow it up with some uh, cucumber here. You'll notice I typically try to bite from the side. It's because of the broken teeth. So as long as I don't put any direct pressure on it, I can see it holds up pretty well. But sometimes I do hit it, like when I bite down something a little hard or a little too big. And then the teeth will break loose again, and then I gotta glue it back. That will typically happen once every few weeks. So maybe I am getting poisoned from all the super glue in my mouth. So many things that could be going wrong causing all the health issues. But what do you do? What do you do? You know, if I don't have the teeth, it makes it hard to eat. And then the mouth starts to move around even more, and it gets more messed up. Mmm, this is good stuff. This dish is not hard to prepare at all. And of course, if you don't like pork, you can substitute it with uh, beef or chicken. And, you know, any kind of greens that you want to throw in there. I just threw in a bunch of, um, a bunch of, what is that? Uh, what is that? Spinach. Spinach. Because I found a bag of spinach for like a dollar thirty-six or something like that at um, Aldi's the other day, and ended up buying it. So I decided to use it in this, and actually, it's very good. I think spinach has a lot of iron in it. Now, typically, when you cook vegetables and fruits. I think you destroy some of those um, vitamins and minerals. You destroy them by cooking them. So you should try to eat those things raw, but I didn't wash the, uh, the spinach, so cooking it as hot as this will kill any, hopefully kill any bacteria on there. But I think after this episode, I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick that I use to try to prevent, prevent myself from getting um, food sickness. You know. Or if I do get food sickness, what I do to cure myself. And typically I cure it within a couple hours. And, you know, that's a trick basically that came because of um, being a postal <laughs> employee. You have to deliver mail all day. You cannot afford to be sick, to have food poisoning. Food has just the right amount of crunchiness. The rice is a little bit on the dry side, which is okay. But it's got a little bit of oil in there from the, the pork, the pork butt steak that we put in there. So the rice is like perfect like that. And then when you bite into it, if you have like a fresh piece of onion, you get a really nice cold um, sensation from the onion being cool and then you get the juicy onion squirting out and it's also spicy and of course if you take one of these peppers one of these um, jalapeno pepper slices it, it's fire can you see the sweat I am sweating I know that all the Thai people know I'm enjoying this right now because I'm sweating while I eat. But this is really, this is a really good dish. Typically, this is what my uh, days are like. Um, it is almost dark outside right now. I do have the lights on in here so you can see me as I film. 
but I figure I probably got maybe 15 to 30 minutes left of light before it's completely dark outside. It's uh, 7.52. If you've been watching the other videos, this will give you kind of a running tally of what my day is like today. This is a Friday. I am going to be seeing my kids tomorrow and um, Sunday, so I'll pick them up first thing in the morning. Then on Monday, I'm heading out to a job fair, so I got to get ready Sunday night. And you know, early Monday, I'll be at the job fair. And then, depending on the results of the job fair, I may be working. If not, I'll be back in town um, working directly with Express Tech Auto to try to start their. Excuse me, I'm burping like crazy from uh, the soda, which I've been guzzling down. It's to control this. I don't know if you see, I am sweating. That pepper has a kick. I know some people can eat um, these jalapenos and they're like, eh, it's nothing. To me, there's something. They are hot. I would say they might even be as hot or hotter than the Thai peppers, maybe. I'd like to look on the Scoville scale to see where they put the jalapeno peppers at. But it tastes pretty hot to me. Now... My friend trail name Ace. I don't think these would phase him. As you can see, I am sweating. I am dripping sweat. It is so hot. But it is so good. If you watch the other episode where I was talking about peppers, peppers are literally a type of poison. Yeah, it's kind of like a poison to you. It's a mild poison. Some people can actually die from eating peppers. And that's why I don't want to eat anything like the uh, Carolina Reaper or the um, ghost peppers. I've looked at their Scoville. They're like in the millions. You know, the Scoville rating is like how hot a pepper is rated. And if my friend, um, trail name Ace, I think, I don't know if it was the Reaper or the Ghost Peppers that he ate, but the way he described it, he almost died. <laughs> and I know he can out-pepper me, so if it almost killed him, it'll kill me for sure. I'm actually at the parking lot, in the parking lot right now, behind the um, laundromat. Just finished doing laundry. Somebody's jumping their car out. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my voice going out. That is the, <coughs> the effect of the pepper. I'm dying. <laughs> This is what it looks like right before you die. If you're eating a pepper. You're sweating. Look at that. I am sweating all over. But you have a big grin on your face. Because it's, uh, it's a good death. <laughs> death by hotness. Oh, this stuff is hot. Look at that. Mm. So good.
some people wonder how I can apparently eat so much food. I mean, I don't eat like those people who do the mukbang videos all day long. They look like they eat a ton of stuff. Maybe they only eat once a week. <laughs> I don't know. But I do quite eat quite a bit at each serving, especially rice and stuff. But I think the reason I don't gain too much weight, I'm gonna go on a, a second soda. Yeah, it's doubly bad, but I can't finish this meal without the soda. I am burning up. Now, they say milk would be better for you, but I actually am lactose intolerant, so milk would make me really sick. But Coca-Cola has um, citric acid in it, and some that'll cause the um, pepper to actually kick in and even be stronger. But the sugar, the sugar in the soda will kind of calm down briefly. So it helps briefly, but if you really want to calm down, I think what would help me if I was eating one of those Carolina peppers or whatever, is to have ice cream, yeah. I would have ice cream on the side, you know, ready to um, eat. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, I am sweating everywhere and I'm trying to wipe the sweat off. But this is really good food here. And I'm burping like crazy. I'm spitting food everywhere. My apologies. But hey, this is what it's like eating with Denoy. Interestingly, My wife is more cultured than I am. I usually eat, normally when I eat, I chew with my mouth open. <laughs> That's normal for me. She always kind of freaks out when I do that. She says, you should eat with your mouth shut. 